Our fifth panelist uh, and artist tonight, David Moss. Uh, David uh, would tell you, if I gave him the mic, that from birth uh, until 1975, he was under the very, very creative tutelage of his father, uh, Jack Moss, Zichron Oli uh, I, I affectionately refer to David as the Walt Disney of the Jewish world. Reviver of the art of ketubah illumination and creator of the Moss Haggadah, Tree of Life Stander, and many other remarkable projects, David is one of the founders of Kolaot and is presently working on an extraordinary project uh, called the Garden of Jewish Exploration. Uh, David and his wife Raz made Aliyah 31 years ago, if I'm not 30 years ago. So it's my privilege to hand over the mic to David. Thank you. It's my privilege to call all these other artists friends, because they are. Um, to get to four minutes, you want me over? To get to four minutes, I had to write this out, and it's 3.59, so I left some time for questions. <laughs> this has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, except it's all my work, and I just thought something to you for you to look at so you don't have to listen to me. My world. Some worlds are seen, some are unseen. The world I invite you to enter is both seen and unseen. Parts of it have been brought to reality, but most of it remains to appear. My world is a Jewish world, but a Jewish world that has not existed before, a visionary world that I am slowly bringing into being. It is a world of meaning and beauty, a world of commitment and devotion, a world of necessity and urgency. It is a Jewish world, but one that includes all. It is a world of Jewish ideals and values, which I believe are as crucial to the universe today as when they were first proclaimed thousands of years ago. My world began with a vision long ago, a vision that I have gradually, patiently, and I hope faithfully been concretizing ever since. I have slowly gained confidence in my visionary world as feedback has accumulated over the years. My world is firmly based on a profound trust that what is created honestly, thoughtfully, and soulfully will be responded to deeply and genuinely. One of the most gratifying things to me is that my world has been entered with the same delight throughout the spectrum of the Jewish world. The fruits of my world includes books and prints, objects and sculptures, buildings and spaces, journeys and itineraries, programs and presentations, teaching and sharing, new ways of educating, fresh ways of inspiring, and touching adults and children. My simple process of creation is one of head, heart, and hand. Head to immerse myself as deeply, humbly, respectfully, and authentically as possible into Jewish tradition and text. I listen, I learn. Heart, to transform the contents of this learning into ideas as fresh, innovative, appropriate, creative, and imaginative as possible. Hand, to execute and craft the result with devotion, loving care, and concentrated attention. My career has been a gradual expansion of using this process in many ways, the revival of the hand-illuminated ketubah, the creation of the Passover Haggadah, the Tree of Life Stender, the design of buildings, the co-founding of Kola Ot. But for each project I have finished, there are many that remain undone. These are not merely hopes or whims, but concrete ideas for real pre pieces and projects that have passed my, vigor my vi rigorous criteria of being Jewishly authentic, meaningful, inspiring. Each must be fresh and creative, must delight the viewer, the owner, or the participant. Each project must be beautiful and honestly crafted. There are currently scores of such projects in the works. Some projects are modest, straightforward, and virtually ready to go. Some are vast, ambitious, multi-year projects. Some are designed to elicit a bit of delight, expand and expound a Jewish concept, text, or value. 
Some are designed to profoundly transform the Jewish world. Some worlds are seen, some worlds are unseen. You can see some of the completed results of my vision on my website, or better yet, at my studio in Jerusalem. To enter the world of my future vision or join me in bringing that world to light, give me a call. My studio is in Chutzot HaYotzer between the King David Hotel and the Jaffa Gate. One of my websites is davidmoss.com. I've brought a few works, mostly from my popular collector's subscription plan. Five words. 